Do you have a move in your future? Are you looking for ways to help make your move go smoothly? I have some tips for you. This is Diane and Janito of the Mary Ellen Van Aken team of Keller Williams North Atlanta, and I'm going to share my top 10 moving hacks and packing tips with you. Hopefully you will find some to use in your move to help things go smoothly and help you get your things to your new home in one piece. Tip number one, use suitcases for your heaviest items. The handles and the wheels will help make moving these items easier. Tip number two, make sure you keep track of your moving expenses. Some are tax deductible, so you're going to want that information when tax season rolls around. Tip number three, make sure you label your boxes on the sides, not the top. This way, when they are stacked, you can see what each box has in it, which will make it easier for you to find the items that you're looking for. And when you're labeling your boxes, make sure that you label them with the room that they're going to belong in in your new home. This way, everything will go to the correct room and you will just have to unpack, not lug boxes from room to room and have to go searching all over for what you need. Tip number four, use baggies to hold small, important items like screws. So when you go to put your items back together again in your new home, everything is there where you need it. Also, make sure you label the baggies so that you know what screws go with what items. Tip number five, you can find free moving boxes on the Craigslist free section. You can also ask on the app next door if anyone has any moving boxes they are looking to get rid of. And sometimes your local U-Haul will have used boxes available for you to go and pick up. Tip number six, make sure you don't make your boxes too heavy. You're gonna to wanna to use smaller boxes for your heavy items like books and pots. If you have extra space in the box, fill it with light items like towels or throw pillows. You're going to wanna to fill the bottom half of the box with the heavy items and then pick up the box to test out how heavy it is and then go and add soft light items to the top. Tip number seven, pack your dishes sideways so they're less likely to break. You're going to want to line your box with bubble wrap or packing paper wadded up to help create some form of a cushion. Then you're going to wrap each individual plate with packing paper and then put either foam sheets or styrofoam plates in between each plate and then pack them vertically to evenly distribute the pressure. Tip number eight, use coffee filters to cushion your bowls and your cups. Go and get some cheap coffee filters and use a few layered in between your cups and your bowls to help prevent chips and cracks. Tip number nine, you're going to want to stock up on packing supplies. Make sure that you have plenty of packing tape, boxes, labels, and trash bags. Tip number 10, make sure you properly prepare your electronics. Go and take pictures of where all the cords plug into your device. And pack your electronics in their original boxes if you happen to still have them. Otherwise, you can buy moving boxes specifically made for your flat screen TVs on Amazon. If, you're, if you will be relocating, make sure you check out our relocation guide for more information on relocating. I hope that these tips will help you as you prepare to move.